Hello friends, my name is Praveen Thorati and uh, currently working as Assistant Professor in Forensic Science and I am uh, post graduated from Usmania University in 2017 batch. So this video is humble appeal to Usmania University on Forensic Science course. A few of the important messages are the things which the Usmania University has to uh, most care about that is to regularize the forensic science course in Usmania University. So it is highly essential the course whatever it is there now that is the self-financing course. And second one is provide PhD program for forensic science specially. So now the forensic students who are there if they want to pursue research they are opting for chemistry or physics or uh, the wildlife zoology botany etc. But we need the PhD program to conduct any research related to forensic science. So in Hyderabad we are having CFSL as well as state FSL. So from there whatever the problems related to forensic science and crimes are there those problems can be solved by doing the research on them specially. So improve the admission process into forensic science course. So many of the times many of the students those who have pursued forensic science course in university. So these students few of them not all in few of them they have uh, have very least knowledge about the course which they have opted so due to the uh, counseling what is there and due to the admission process whatever it is there the students those who don't even know what is forensic science though are those people have been admitted into the course which is not at all correct so the students those who are really interested for the course and those who are applying only for forensic science course should be uh, given preference and they should be only getting the admission into the course and the other process should also be included that means those who are not getting chance as admission into forensic science course of Usmania University they should be getting a admission into other universities that means it is suggested to get course into other universities like you can see the Kakatiya University is there, Telangana University is there, Palamuri University is there. So these are the few of the state universities which are very famous and uh, this particular course should also be started in those colleges so that uh, two advantages are there. One, the set exam can be started for forensic science state eligibility test through which we can qualify two categories that is uh, we can qualify the people for PhD program into forensic science and second thing we can qualify the students for a lectureship or assistant professorship so the that they can work in the universities like uh, whatever I have just said. So like that improving admission processes is one thing and including PhD program into this uh, forensic science is very important to uh, conduct the research and implementation of education pattern is most important that means whatever the education they are providing it should be equivalent to the industry ready or it should be making the student to be prepared and completely ready to work in the real industry and the real world. So like that the edu education pattern should be there so whatever the current course for forensic science MSc is there most of the time it is not specialized. And uh, uh, if it is for job of ballistics, we are having the subject of ballistics as one paper, but it is not uh, enough to be qualified for a scientific officer of ballistics division. Forensic science, whatever the course is there in Usmania University, its syllabus is containing large content of chemistry. So at least it should be made specialization in the forensic chemistry or it should be mentioned as it is a chemistry specialization in chemistry or instrumentation etc. But it is not done in any of the way and it is just a till now said a course in forensic science that's it. So no further implementation is done in the design of the syllabus or the pattern of education which is there and the infrastructure whatever it is there it should be implemented in more the way. So this particular things education pattern or the infrastructure or the skill based training and the national level exposure whatever it is there in the fourth point these all are possible only when it is uh, been regularized the course whatever it is there it should be regularized that it should be funded by the university funded by the state government so that it will be supported and the development of forensic science will be possible. So skill based training means there are uh, whatever the forensic science course is there most of the course subjects are there these are practical oriented they are not theoretical oriented so whatever the subject is there they should be getting the practical exposure more into and uh, they should be visiting 
getting to the scenes they should be getting exposed to the real scenes that means they have to do internships and projects into the police stations or uh, crime scenes or to the investigation uh, departments etc so that they can be getting more exposure and they'll be becoming ready for tomorrow's employment so next is the national level exposure so this is particular point which is lacking in the Usmania University. So there are no national level conferences, seminars, programs which are held at university for forensic science especially uh, which is giving the recognition to university actually. So if these are not conducted your university students are not recognized. For example myself if I am going to any other university any other college in national wide any other conference if I am attending if I am addressing myself a student from Usmania University. University is having a very good uh, uh, reputation all over India that it is a very old university and it is a uh, third oldest uh, university in the South India like that it is having recognition but the forensic science which is running in Usmania University is not up to the mark that is the absolute remark which is there in national level. So that should be completely outrightly rejected and the whatever exposure is there that should be implemented. They should be calling all the experts from national level and they have to be conducting a very good events in the university level so that the exposure whatever it is there to the students as well as to the faculty and for the development of a forensic science laboratories in Hyderabad that is the state as well as the central will be very enhanced. So that is the thing and provide recognizable specialization suitable for employment so that is what already said so in Usman University we are having only forensic science which is not at all enough so it is more into chemistry that is already said and most important thing is cyber security cyber forensics and digital forensics into the computer technology and technical skills whatever are there should be very much required for forensic students especially from Usmania it is uh, lacking in this particular students so these all things are experienced by me so uh, there are so many things which are to be discussed so let's proceed further so this is uh, our uh, beloved department in Osmania University. This is the Department of Forensic Science under uh, University College of Science, Osmania University, Hyderabad. And it is uh, under the chemistry department and uh, we are learning here. So MSc first year and second year both will be conducted here and practicals will also be going here. If we want more practical exposures, we are uh, guided to visit the state forensic science laboratory. So one more thing it is there here. When we are guided to go for uh, internship or a project or uh, any other thing at a state forensic science laboratory we are not getting proper exposure as we are still students so there are certain restrictions which are applied so that we are unable to learn proper practicals at state forensic science laboratory though we are getting permission we are just being restricted to handle few of the things so Obviously, whatever forensic science laboratory is there, it is very delicate and it is a workplace, it is not a, a student place. So, we are not allowed to do anything in that particular laboratory. So, we request very humbly to provide proper infrastructure and we have to get the exposure to handle various types of forensically specific uh, instrumentations so that we can learn more and uh, we can prove ourselves outside whenever there is notification. So, uh, whenever there is notification for scientific officer in a uh, uh, the particular uh, CFSLs or state FSLs if we want to ex show ourselves so we should be having knowledge just by learning on the board or just by listening the lectures by the lecturers though the quality is very high the whatever the uh, quality which is given by the department whatever they are having till that particular extent it is very nice but certain things are required which are only possible after the regularization department details if you are seeing admission is done so far till by the Usmania University common entrance test for MSc. So if you are qualifying in that we can be selecting few subjects. So in that forensic science will be there. If I am putting all the subjects and if my luck is there only for forensic science I will be getting only forensic science. So in the admission process also what is observed means if you are applying for the topmost courses like the biochemistry or you are applying for microbiology or anything, the forensic science is the least one. If you are not getting seats from any of the above, the least one which is preferred is forensic science and they are dumping students literally into forensic science though they don't require that particular course. But as per the respect on Usmania University and the university campus, the students are still joining in this. That is very true point which should be 
changed in future and the intake currently is 30, 30 seats and uh, previously it was started with 22 seats and uh, gradually it came to 30 seats and since 19 batches are produced and around 500 students are produced from Usman University related to only foreign six science. Then fee is around 26,760. It is a self financing, but it should be changed. There are merit students, those should be placed on merit basis. And the students, those who are just getting qualified for being in University College of Forensic Science, then they should be having the self financing. And this particular changes should be brought and proper infrastructure is only possible because of regularization. Then the MSc Forensic Science course was started under Chemistry Department. Usmania University as nodal department in 2000 and 2001 academic year and first pass out was done in 2002. Information which is seen on college web page of forensic science is as per this thing uh, 45 students have secured the suitable jobs. So in that uh, it is clearly mentioned. So when there is production of 500 students and why it is showing about only 45 students. What about other 400 students approximately? So where they are and what they are doing and uh, are they uh, doing related jobs relevant to forensic science? Are they getting exposed to forensic science? So if it is not so, why this particular production of students is done unnecessarily and uh, uh, why it has been like that? So that is what the important question. I don't know what is the answer nor somebody can understand. But if not the past, the future, whatever it is there, it should be designed by the authorities. So they have to decide, they have to take proper decisions and they have to work towards the two students welfare, but not to spoil their future. So where are the other students? That is the question. And in website, it's shown that there is three years PhD program, but it is not for forensic science. It is you will be getting PhD only once you are writing the PhD entrance and you are getting qualified in that and you will be selected for PhD program based on the interview. So this particular PhD program is into chemistry or botany or zoology, but not into forensic science. So though it is mentioned in the website, it should be taken care that it should be given only for forensic science department completely unique department should be there that is what our dream the whatever forensic science students who are there if we are doing this particular help it will be very helpful for all of us and we will be doing our particular higher education into research and we will be obtaining the research from our Usmania University. So that is a very humble request. Otherwise, we have to opt all these opportunities from all other universities all around the country. Then other government forensic science colleges who are doing better than Usman University are the Harising Gaur Vishwa Vidyalaya. This is the first university which is established and they are offering various types of specializations as well as the PhD program. Loknayak Jay Prakash Narayana in National Institute of Criminology and Forensic Science. They are also being preferred at priority. So though Usmania University is having memorandum of understanding with uh, Central Ministry of Home Affairs, uh, the main preference by while the recruitment process of UPSC or Delhi recruitment of uh, the scientific officers, the main preference is given to this particular student that is National Institute of Technology and Forensic Science due to the quality which is offered by that particular college and other universities and our Usmania University in that is lagging behind this particular thing. And Punjabi University is also one of the important universities and in Maharashtra, Maharashtra has taken very good care for the education system of forensic science and it has established three government institutes of forensic science and there are many forensic science colleges which are running in Maharashtra and they are equally encouraging the employment as well in various sectors of forensic science. So that can be banking, that can be insurance, that can be the uh, professorship or teacher field or it can be the research or anything. So all these ways they are encouraging and they are providing the opportunities. Support this campaign for development of scientific investigation in Telangana state which will be supporting the police department and crime criminal investigation as well. Share until it reaches our honorable authorities, chancellor of university come, governor of the state and chief minister, education minister, home minister. These people are the authorities. You people if you are helping us 
we will be definitely succeeding in our particular future of forensic science and we will be enhancing all the things related to forensic science and it will be completely helpful for the state and the law enforcement so especially the request to vice chancellor of usmania university to regularize the forensic science course as well as to the university college of science principal sir to take care of this particular thing and give us the opportunity to pursue phd programs in forensic science from usmania university as well as to uh, have different types of specializations which are focusing only on to forensic science and which will be giving us proper employment into forensic science thank you very much